what's good cousins and welcome back again on another episode today how are you all doing i really hope you guys are doing well and if you're joining for the very first time you are in the right place thank you so much for tuning in don't make it your last time so smash the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on there is a video that has been making around on tiktok that i would like you guys to see there is this acclaimed billionaire or millionaire i don't know this man was trying to help a 22 year old boy and he gave him a condition that if you want me to help you there is something you need to do and what this man told this young guy to do is going to be shocking to a lot of you now, i'm going to roll the clip in a minute but i want you guys to pay attention to how he's talking his body language and the fact that he posted the video without the guy content speaks a lot of what he's actually trying to pass across so without wasting much time let me just roll the clip and let's pay attention to his body language his tone and what he is saying all right imagine having dinner with me nine figure entrepreneur 22 years old and about 10 minutes ago i told him i'm gonna take him to dinner if he cuts his hair this is what he looks like as well and now i told him i'm gonna coach him to do business for free now if you want me to have a positive influence on your life and by the way comment in the bottom is that does he look better before and after like comment share i want it Make sure you share the link. Make sure you follow me. Go to my profile. Click on the Zoom as well. Ahmed, you're 22 years old. We're about to do some deals together. What are you thinking right now? Excited. Well, this is what happens. Short-term sacrifice, long-term benefits as well. Do you want to look good or do you want to make a lot of money? Right? After you make a lot of money, you can look however you want because people don't care. If you agree to disagree, follow, like, comment, share, go to my profile. You will be next. What do you guys think about that video? What do you think about what he said? That in order for this guy to have a dinner with a multi-millionaire, he needs to cut his hair. Yes, I know people take their hair on different level. There are some people who will say, it's just hair, it's going to grow back. And there are some people who do not joke with their hair. So basically what this man is saying is, in order for me to give you this level of success, you need to cut your crown. You need to cut your hair. And here I am thinking, is it really necessary? Like if you really want to help someone, is it really necessary? This video went viral because it did not sit well with a lot of people. There was a follow-up video he did where he talked about, oh, it's image like he's telling him to come clean and you know to clean his image and stuff like that what about locks on the head is not deemed worthy enough to sit down with a billionaire and have dinner with them like do you really have to go that far in order for you to help someone if you really want to help why not help people are coming in on this video it's really going viral and i would like you guys to see what those people are saying about the video i told him i'm gonna take him to dinner if he cuts his hair this is what he looks like so Meet J.T. Fox, a capitalist entrepreneur who thought it was okay to tell a black boy if he cut his locks, he would sit down and have a business meeting with him. You see, this is why when we make it out of the ghetto and the projects, we need to come back and help our own so they don't think that they have to cut their ether their power to sit down with a YT man. What you're seeing here is a form of buck breaking. He wanted a man to cut his hair. That's a form of emasculating him to show that he has power and dominance over him. And then, only then, he would let him into his community, his country clubs, whatever he told him he was going to do. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to cut your power off, King. Now see, there's a history here. With YT people being uncomfortable with the way we wear our hair. And the way that we look. Why is this not good enough for corporate America? Says who? Now if he was wearing a jersey with a helmet. Smacking his skull on a field. His locks would be okay. But because you want him to wear a slave suit with a little bow tie, see, we need to see this as a problem. And he sees this as a problem. That's why JT Fox deleted this video. Yeah. 
you know you messed up, right? I told him, I'm gonna take him to dinner if he cuts his hair. This is what he looks like as well. See, this is the shit that people don't understand and they try to be blindsided about this type of shit. That a melanated person cannot be accepted wearing their natural hair. They do this in business places. They do this everywhere. They don't want you to wear your natural hair. But a uh, European American can have long hair, a male, and it's no problem. They, they don't have to have a nice clean cut like what they try to do for us. You want us to cut our hair to do this to make an appearance even though we're not that bad person that you thinking of. You heard that? You just want the challenge of changing somebody's appearance and hopefully you can change the way they talk, walk, act, everything. Even though they didn't have no problem with it in the first place. And that's society. But y'all stay with the blindfolds on. I like y'all can't see the shit. You did. Profile, you will be next. I'll take under my wing. So the troglodytic glowworm escaping from the Caucasus Mountains by way of Alabaska Valley that you just saw in that video gloating over compromising a black man to have lunch with him is J.T. Fox. I could go off about he's a bigot, he's a racist, engaged in the activity of compromising black people for their personal satisfaction. But that's the obvious case. And people like this, that doesn't affect them. But let's take a look at this nine-figure entrepreneur, as he calls himself. So how much is nine figures? A nine-figure salary or nine-figure net worth is one that is earned by making a hundred million or more in a single year. This is an extremely high income and only a very small percentage of people make that kind of money. All right, imagine having dinner with me, nine figure entrepreneur. Now, I went through your page and you strike me as the type of typical reef for a family tree having white man that tells his sister that this is somehow six inches and she should be satisfied. But I digress. Let's go by the numbers. So first off, I went to Forbes magazine and their list of richest Americans. And if you had a net worth of over a hundred million dollars, um, you would be easy to find because they have a database with that information. So I couldn't find you there. So understand JT, I know your name was Justin Thomas and you changed it and you are Canadian. So I also looked at Canadian resources for net worths over a hundred million dollars. Didn't find you there either. So I visited a few websites and the average website puts your net worth at $5 million with a yearly income of $250,000, a monthly income of around $21,000 and a daily income of around $700. Impressive, but far from a nine figure entrepreneur. Then I took the liberty of looking up a couple of the companies you have founded in the United States and going and looking for their net worths. And of the ones I found, you're still nowhere near a nine-figure entrepreneur. Now, JT, jumping up and down and calling you a racist or a bigot wouldn't phase you at all because you made this dog whistle of a video to signal to that very crowd and show your dominance over this black man who is nothing more than a child that you got to cut their hair to have a dinner with you. Not even the promise of a job or anything you're talking about short-term sacrifices for a meal. Just know that JT, I see you. And more importantly though, I seen what you did to the young brother there. And unfortunately for you, I'm not one of those black people who do not believe in using the tools of white supremacy against white supremacists. See, you're a fraud. You were a fraud the first time you told your sister that this was six inches. You were a fraud telling people you're a nine-figure entrepreneur. CJT, you're still Justin. 
the emotionally distressed little boy with a stutter who was bullied. And instead of understanding that situation from an empathic perspective, you just wanted to be the bully and not the bullied. Well, you have arrived. Just understand. <laughs> There's more than one way to skin a cat. Now, you'll be seeing me around, and you have the day that you deserve. Let me hear your thoughts about what the whole said, and let me hear your own thoughts about the original video as well. There are even some people actually supporting him. Some people were saying, oh, after the court, he looked clean. Like, just a little percentage of people were saying that, by the way. They were like, he looked clean after that court. And this is the same question he was asking in that video that do you think he looks good? And I just feel like the fact that people are not seeing that he is perpetuating the stereotypes that black people's hair, the hair that grows naturally from black people's hair is not worthy to be seen in certain places or is not worthy to use in certain places does not make any sense. The fact that these people didn't see that is really funny. A 22 year old who is just, you know, entering into adulthood wanting to have a dinner with you and all you have to do is to prove the dominance over him right there putting a camera to his face filming him just because he wants to have a dinner with you i don't think that is nice at all will you having him cut his hair change the person that he is if he's on that locks does that mean he cannot be successful we actually sit with him in that dinner does that mean that he cannot be successful level of dominance that they think they can always have to tell people what is right and what is not to condemn something that naturally grows out of a black person's body to condemn the crown hat it's it's absurd literally sat down made that video to to tell people that the crown hat was a joke to him and the struggle and the fights that black people have had to go through in order for their hair to be accepted is a joke and it doesn't mean anything to him because that's the only thing he's doing in that video perpetuating stereotypes that black people's hair doesn't fit into certain places someone is having a dinner with a multi-millionaire aside from the things that you talk about there are some you know personality that they are supposed to you know notice from somebody who is a multi-millionaire the very first thing that this man will notice is your dominance because you are a white man a video of um auntie karen on tiktok saying she had a conversation with the 22 year old guy and he said he doesn't even know anything about what is going on he doesn't even know that he's trending and this man has deleted that video off of his page because now he has realized that what he posted doesn't actually make sense let me hear what you guys think in the comment section thank you all so much for joining and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye and I love you guys.